Okay, I've got a Super Cat <clears throat> 17. Or, as my daughters like to call it, the Soup Cat 17. And I have a hull repair I've got to do. And I'd like to get um, the hull separated from the cross beams. And unlike most things on Earth, there are no videos on YouTube showing how to do it. So I tried a bunch of different things. I tried a wire. I put, I tied wire around these two little things and made like a garrot or whatever it's called. And tried to, I don't know, saw the uh, silicone out of there and that didn't work. And I've been thinking about it for a couple weeks. And finally, I had a brilliant idea today, and it seems to be working. Plain old wood shims. You can see it's still attached. I can tell it's coming, though. <clears throat> it's still attached. I've got this bar in here so I can lift it up and show you. Okay. So it's not coming. Still stuck. So oh here it comes. I do have this one is free. This one kind of fell apart actually. I'm glad I took it apart because I would never have checked and this one really was not attached. So it was when I took the bolts out in here, there, there are little uh, half moon spacers that go on there so you can tighten the bolt. So when I took those out, this corner was pretty much off. So I put the bolts back in so when this one comes free, it won't fall and have a super catastrophe. <laughs> Oh, oh, son of a bitch. I just hit a super catastrophe. Oh, shit. Well, at least it didn't rip the bolt out of the hull. Fuck. That sucks. Well, it's going in for repairs anyhow, so whatever happened just happened. Um, yeah. I got some work to do here, so... That is how you separate the hulls on a Supercat. Alrighty, see ya.